Good morning, Lenas. Good morning, Tisha. I started with metal mats because I wanted Lenas to get the vibe of mats now. You're going to copy them quickly inside your books. A warm up. It helps them to, to be quick thinkers. Are you ready with your pens? Yes. Some learners, they've got this tendency of writing questions and equals to, they're not going to get to the answers. Remember, write only the answers. It's about time up, so I'm going to count. When I slap, it means you must stop, you must put your pen down, then we mark 10, 9, 8, 3, 2, Ah, finish, finish, it's about stop. Let's clap all of us. When they mark their own work, it saves time. Because when they swap, then they are taking time to mark their own work. They can at the same time write the corrections. Nine times 60. 54. See how many of you got it right? Very good, you are smart, eh? I have a problem to number four. Eight times sixty is forty-eight. Four hundred and eighty. Thanks very much, Tato. You have seen that mistake. I was really impressed with Tato because he detected the mistake. It shows that learners were concentrating. I like learners who are free to even correct. Ten out of ten. Raise up your hands. I want to see. That's very good. It means most of you, you know your mental mess. Left for yourself, right. Now close your exercise books. Take out the flat cards. The flat cards, they, they help a lot, especially for learners to know their place. Babies. We start with the units. We start with the units, the babies. Ne? Then after, arrange the tens. The tens are the brothers and sisters. The hundreds is the mommy. And we end up with the... Explaining them as if it's a family. It becomes interesting for the learners and they enjoy that. I'm going to give you a paper and a marking pen. You are going to write three numbers with three digits. It means it must have hundreds, ne? And after you write three numbers with four digits. When I started them to use the flat cards, I said they must arrange them, starting with the units, the tens, the hundreds, the thousands. When they, they start an exercise writing the numbers on the paper that I gave them, they need to know that now it changes when we write numbers. A number with four digits, they'll start with the thousands. Now that you are going to arrange the flat cards according to the numbers you wrote on the papers, then it means you are going to start with the thousands now. And then, hundreds. What follows, all of you? Yes. Very good. Now is what? When you are finished, put up your hands. It's better when they do them in pairs rather than the whole group. Because if it's the whole group, some learners, I don't think they will have got a chance to try it exercise. So the reason is that the flat cards are small and then I wanted everybody to be involved. And mind you, expanding notation is one of the methods that will be used when they multiply two digit by two digit. So that exercise was very uh, relevant uh, for them to be able to understand the next lesson. Arrangement of place values. I'll come and collect it. Thank you. Thank you. With the multiplication of two digit by two digit, I used two methods. Vertical method with brackets. The reason for me to show them that method to still use the, the, the place values. When they were practicing with the flat cards, place values was emphasized there. What am I going to write in the unit? A. They use quad books. So that makes it easier for them to know that units belong in the same block, tens in the same block, hundreds, thousands like that. So we are going to times eight times 30. We are left with what now? Yes, over to 10, 10, 6. Now for us to get our final answer, we are going to add all the four answers that we got. Then it means 36 times 18. 648. How 
do you find this vertical method with brackets? Simple. Right. The second method was the one of expanded notation. They know the numbers, they start by writing them in expanded notation. So it's something that they have done before with their flat card, so it became very easy for them. We finished writing the two numbers. Yes. We close the bracket. Plus. As I continue with the method, I involve them for them to be the one to give me the answers. So that after I have finished explaining that method to them, they need to also be able to do it by themselves. I write eight in the units. What is when the, the assessment task comes, they, they just say they need to multiply maybe two digit number by two digit number. They are free to use the method that they can relate well with. So that is why I just give them two methods so that they can have a chance to choose the one that they see is easier for them to, to follow. Get choose maskete. Choose maskete. After I explained the two methods to them, for me to see if they followed well, I gave them a flip chart in groups. They need to agree as a group and choose the method that they want to use to answer that sum that I give them. It makes them show each other how they understand. Because I don't just give them the work and move away. I go around to see if they are all working in the group. Is everybody finished? After they have done that sum in groups, I said they need to come and give feedback and tell us how they went about getting the answer. 240. Plus, 7 times 20 is 140. Plus, 7 times 4 is 28. They were happy to, to come at the chalkboard and explain. It's like it uh, builds their confidence, you know. Cut brackets. 20 times 7 is equal to 140. I was so impressed because I could see that they followed. So I gave them homework so that they could prove that as individuals they could answer. At the end of the day, for them to come and, and present it, I could see that it was effective in the sense that they have understood the whole lesson as I have taught them. They could apply the two methods and they did it very well.